What's up, guys? It's Brian from Asherah Hub. It's about 12.50 p.m. Eastern Time, January 19, 2018. Coming to you with a brand new trading video here. Litecoin, Ethereum, and Dash are going to be the topic for this video. But first, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, re-steam, upvote, all greatly appreciated. <clears throat> so let's get into it. It's kind of a mixed bag of what we are seeing as far as the patterns here. So we're going to go through these three and kind of just point out a few different things, food for thought. So if you look at our Bitcoin uh, video, you, you'll see, you know, there's certain, there's certain, um, certain chart formations that we were looking at. There are a few others that we didn't mention that could possi also possibly be it, but we didn't want to mention it to, to, muddy, to muddy up the um, muddy up the charts any more than they already are. So, what do we have here? What we have on Litecoin is a few different things. We may possibly be having this ascending triangle. Something like this. Okay. Or it could be a larger ascending triangle or it could be a right triangle. There's a few different ways to, to look at it. I mean, you can also look at it and say, oh, you know, we have this or no, we have this. So each one has its bullish and bearish components. Uh, this is obviously bullish. What I had mentioned before of this right here, the ascending triangle is bearish. So there's a little, a little bit of, of both. Now mind, remind you that we didn't, we thought that possibly the price of Litecoin could actually get down to around the hundred dollar level based on the way in which we're counting the Elliott waves. And to say that this is over it would be, it would be premature. In other words, to say the sell over, the sell off is is over would be a bit premature until we really see some really bullish sentiment coming in here where we start we start climbing for you know for higher highs in a very very rapid succession then we can make the conclusion amongst other technical factors at that time that the sell off is most likely over now what tells us that it may not be over is the fact that, like I said, the counting of the Elliott waves is not exactly right. But that doesn't mean that it has to correct. Second thing is that we are seeing some bearish formations in the charts across the board. I mean, even Bitcoin, um, I'll pull that up for a second here. Even Bitcoin, we were saying this is an ascending triangle, right? But it very well may not be an ascending triangle. Another, another possibility is it being kind of like a rising wedge here. Okay. Now we see this would this would come out further. That's another possibility, right? Which is also, which is also bearish. Also including the fact that we have. What we were talking about in that video, we were talking about that we believe that this is a bearish flag. Obviously, also another bearish formation. So let's get back to Litecoin because we're not talking about Bitcoin. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I mean, this is what we see uh, with what's going on with Litecoin right now. It's going to be, you know, we're at critical levels here. You know, uh, unlike what you see with a lot of the other coins where, uh, especially Bitcoin, where you have this, you know, head and shoulders, this you know, upside down head and shoulders. We don't see that as much with a Litecoin. In Litecoin, I mean, you have the left shoulder, you have the head, but the right shoulder, it's there chart pattern wise, but volume wise, it's not confirming it. It's not confirming it at all. So we have to completely negate that, and that it, there is no head and shoulders here. So there's nothing bullish with regards to this chart pattern right here that we can say that yes, you know, 
the, mar the market on Litecoin at least should be looking for higher highs. And then looking at this now, this also looks bearish as well. So let's look at Ether real quick. Okay, Ethereum, similar scenario here. Ethereum, we can draw all sorts of things. So we can have this. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. You can draw something like this, like an asc ascending triangle or ascending channel. All right. You can call this something like this. All right. Also an ascending, you know, wedge. Or you could say, no, this is really just a right triangle, which would be bullish. All the other ones I mentioned were, were bearish. You can say, no, this is it. <clears throat> Our thought process is that that's not it. This is probably what's going on. This right here. That's our primary count. That's our primary our primary chart pattern that we are thinking for for Ether. This right here. Now, also at the same time, what does this also look like? This also looks like a bearish flag, right? Remember on Bitcoin what I was showing you there? Also, Litecoin here, like I was mentioning, this also could look like a bearish flag. So Ethereum, possibly a bearish flag. Okay, same similar thing with, you know, Ethereum. You know, the C, possibly here. But if we recount this, uh, the way in which we would like to, uh, the C could possibly be a little bit lower. Okay. Now it's not to say that some of these coins. I'm saying, assuming that there is some sort of additional sell-off or retesting of bottoms, it can really be either or. It could, they could, it could, the market could retest, you know, its lowest lows here, or it could just continue to sell off. Our thought process is that if it does happen, it's just going to retest these lows on some of the coins. On other coins, it's going to make new lows. <clears throat> on Ethereum in particular, I don't think it's going to make new lows. But on Litecoin, if the market does come down, I think it will make a new low. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Dash. Okay, Dash in a similar fashion, when we count the Elliott waves, we assumed it was going to come down to this 380 area somewhere around there. Now Dash, let's take a look at its patterns. So this could possibly be one pattern which looks excellent and I wouldn't and you can you can make this into a right tri triangle if you want right you can make it perfect if you want but I don't actually think that's what's going on but I think it's going on is more of a ascending wedge pattern right here you don't see the bullish the bullish excuse me the bearish um, flag as much as you see with the other coins let's say for example with ether or even litecoin litecoin you can you can see the same thing okay or even bitcoin bitcoin the bullish flag so you don't see that as much here with dash so the coins are basically in summary that the, the the coins are diverging in their in their chart patterns some are leaning in one direction versus another. So it's something you really need to keep on top of when when you're trading because really this market pretty much trades as one. 
you know, with Bitcoin being, you know, the big behemoth here pushing everybody else around. It's it's the sun and and you know everything else is the planets. So its gravitational force is 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 impacting everything else. But what you can learn is by looking at the altcoins and their patterns, you can learn a little bit more about Bitcoin by doing that. And vice versa works as well. You're looking at Bitcoin, you can learn about the altcoins. And it's kind of a give and take there. So we're going to leave it there for now. <clears throat> our, our primary thoughts is that the market is not going to sell off. However, our secondary thoughts is that it may. And if it does, it's going to do it in the fashion that I had mentioned. That's, that's our thought process. So we're not being wishy-washy. What we're doing is we're preparing ourselves. You have to know of all the possibilities and be able to manage them. Okay. I've gotten some flack from some people saying, oh, you, you know, uh, I love your comment. You say in the end you could say it could go up or it could go down. Well, yeah, that's exactly true. It could go up or it could go down. But how is it going to go up and how is it going to go down? And you need to prepare yourself for both. You can't just prepare yourself for the bullish scenario without preparing yourself for the bearish scenario. If you do, you won't be around for very long. You'll, 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 you'll run through your money very quickly. It'll be the best way to make a million dollars. The best way to make a million dollars is by, by doing exactly that. But the way in which you make a million dollars by doing that is by starting with two million dollars, if you get what I mean. So we're going to leave it there for now. Any questions, let us know. And happy trading.